Hi, this is much of the gang from House of Reptiles in Tigard, Oregon, and uh, we're going to talk to you today about herping, um, which is not a communicable disease. Uh, herping is a term that's used to denote being out in the field um, and finding reptiles and amphibians specifically, um, which we want to advocate for. We're going to talk to you a little bit more specifically about the, some of the etiquette of that. But, you know, gosh, it's a wonderful way to spend some time, get your family outdoors, get some sunshine. Um, you learn about not only the, the reptiles and amphibians, but other um, fauna. There's a lot of, you know, people who are into plants. You get outdoors and you, you experience that. Um, you learn about the geology and geography and the history of the area that we're in. We're walking through an old military base um, looking for stuff. It's, it's got its own history to it. Um, so it's just a, it's a wonderful thing to, to spend some time doing. And, and we're going to tell you a little bit more about that. As Tim said, there is a proper etiquette to herping. It's essentially take only pictures, leave only footprints. If you flip over a, a rock or a log, put it back in its place. Um, under everything you flip over is a microhabitat and animals that live there, so respect those animals. Aside from that, uh, there's another thing to consider, which is that state and local governments often, if not always, have very specific rules about whether or not you can not only, you know, take an animal home um, or even interact with them in the wild, but sometimes have rules about the foliage and uh, things that you can mess with or touch or things like that. So it's kind of up to you to research your local laws understand what's appropriate, not only so you can keep yourself out of trouble and protect the environment that you're so interested in checking out, but also so you can make the rest of the herpers out there look good. Yeah, good point. Um, and even if you can take an animal out of the wild, you've checked out the laws, you know that that's okay. You know, probably most of the time there's no really good reason to do that. If you want a reptile, I mean, we're huge reptile fans. We work at a, the best reptile store in the Pacific Northwest. Um, Come to, come to a store like ours and get one that's already in captivity and you, you can be taught how to properly take care of it. Leave the animals that you find in the wild in the wild. That's the best place for them. And they're, you know, we're in Oregon. I don't know where you are, but every, all of this stuff is um, losing habitat, um, the climate change, it, it's negatively affecting these animals. So the, the more of them that we leave where they are, probably the better for everybody. So um, that said, we're gonna let this beautiful little gopher snake go back where we found him and we're gonna finish our herping. Take care.